Hello my friends. I have a Whirlpool uh, Cabrio washing machine, top loader, and it's been a very good machine for quite a few years uh, pr until now. Um, problem is on the spin cycle it will not balance even without a load. It will bounce around inside the machine and uh, it can't be used in that condition. So, um, all these top loaders, they'll all be similar, they have suspension rods with springs and uh, they need to be replaced. So the springs are either worn, uh, they gotten weakened, or they were broken. So the repair is fairly simple and it's not too expensive, much better than spending four or five hundred dollars for a new machine. Let me show you how you change the suspension rods. On the back of the machine, this cover plate should be removed. Got to have it in the reverse. Okay, now that'll be, allow it to bend. And uh, when you start working on the machine, make sure you unplug it and disconnect the water. I left the hoses on the back of the machine but I disconnected the hoses from the wall. Since you're going to be flipping this top section up, you may not want this lid to be flipping open, so I'm taping it so that will help control it. Okay, now with some of these you unscrew the back, there's about four or five screws back there, then this front section will slide up in, then you lift it, then you push it back. Mine is an older machine. It has the spring clips on the front. So the spring clips are about uh, six to seven inches in from the side. So what you do is you take a putty knife and you go into here. I'm pushing in and lifting up with my hand at the same time. Right there. Okay. Now you don't want this top section to hang on its by itself. So you're going to have to lean it up against something. Okay, now this is giving you access. Here are where the rods are, the four corners. Those are what has to be replaced. And you can see here these springs. So when I was pushing in, pushing it like this. To close it, you just do it kind of in reverse. Make sure you have it pulled forward. And that's closed. Here is the suspension rod kit. Let's see what's in it. Okay, here's the springs and the rods. And here are the upper cups and cup holders. And these will be changed even though the old ones may be okay. Okay, we're going to open this up. And again, about six to seven inches in, you can feel that spring loaded. So that's one way that you can test to see if that's the side, if that's the type of lid that you have. Now, I have a tape closed the lid, and what I'm going to do is hook a wire. This is uh, to support those hinges on the back so nothing gets buckled. Okay, we start by lifting it up. I have the back of the uh, washer removed.
cheating a little bit. Okay, push it down, turn to the slot. And lift the old one off. So after you pull it out, hook it on the edge. And we have new cups to replace. Okay, at this point you can snap the new cups in. They have little clips that lock them. <clears throat> if you look closely, you can see this slot here. This is held in, there's a little plastic clip. Push down, it should snap out. That rod should pull right through that groove. So I'm going to take this rod off of the side to make it a little easier I have a stick here you could use a dowel rod there you can feel it snap out here I'm going to show you the difference between this is why it's wore out putting the ends of the caps near each other. You see the spring, this is the old one. The spring on the lower one with the blue cap, it's shorter. That spring is wore out. That's why it's not balancing. Here I have the two ends even up here. Now if you look where these caps are, you can see there's probably a three-quarter inch difference. This is the old spring, how it's compressed and it's worn. So now we're going to put the newer ones in, and that should fix our problem. Okay, this is the new cap that goes into the top. And you can see here, the rod is going to come up into this and clip and clip over this section. But first we need to bring it up through or lock it into the bottom. So we center this pull up and you can hear it snap so that plastic bushing snapped into place okay now we have to lift this rod up through the hole let me get a better grip up through If you can reach it, it pops out real easy. That's in. Snapped it in, turn it so it's locked. Okay, two more.
basically you can see on this rod these hoses are snapped onto it. I just unsnapped it. That'll have to be replaced. Okay, now this one we're going to lower the rod. I need to push this out. If you can access it, it comes out easy. New rod coming in. Snapped in. This will go back on. We'll snap that after we lift it up. There, just went on. Lock it around there. Okay, lowered in place. And now we snap. There, I just snapped the hose clamp on. Replace this cover, protecting the wires. Running it through the spin cycle. Well, that looks like that did it. This machine would not spin the load. It was unbalanced. It w the drum would bang on the sides. And the reason for that happening was wore out springs on the suspension rod. So for a $50 repair, for a $50 repair kit, for new suspension springs, a fairly easy uh, repair job. Um, working like a new machine again. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye-bye.